Hey everybody, it's Brandon again, and today we're taking a look at Chrome OS version 120. This is Chrome OS Flex, and I have it running on a 2015 MacBook Air right now. And it wasn't a super exciting update, which is pretty common for recent Chrome OS updates, but there are a couple new things I will take a look at. Um, here's just the about window I had it up. Uh, there's nothing new on the what's new screen for Chrome OS, so nothing to show you there. But they did add this virtual desk thing down to your dock. So let me close these and show you how that works. Alright, well it's just showing up now. This button wasn't there when I started tinkering with this, but as soon as I added a virtual desk top thing, this little switcher came up and then you just click on that and go from one to the other or you can hover over it and it gives you arrows to go back and forth so if you ever use that feature that might be pretty neat um, I know on the Mac you just click on the uh, F3 button to bring this up that's the uh, way that's always been there but now they've just added this thing down here so anyway that's the main new thing I found in this release uh, the release note said there's also improvements to nearby sharing I guess if you have another device, another Chrome OS device that you're logged into, it's supposed to be easier to do nearby sharing. I didn't test that out. I never use nearby sharing, to be honest. But uh, it's there if you need it. And apparently there's also some new keyboard shortcuts in this update. Again, that's not something I use a ton. But uh, if you go into the settings and look for keyboard, if I can even type, Evidently, there's some new stuff in here. Uh, you know. So if you're into keyboard shortcuts, go into the settings, go to keyboard, and uh, see if there's anything you like. Uh, anyway, I haven't been using Chrome OS all that much lately. Um, I'm doing a video on this update just because I usually do a video on the latest updates of Chrome OS, but they really haven't added that much to it. And like I said before in other videos, it's really not at the point where I can use it as a daily driver for my own personal needs. And um, I don't know if that's going to change anytime soon. The main problems I have with it, as always, are the file manager. It's just, it's missing so many features that it's kind of unusable. I need to be able to, trend, to drag and drop folders, like... I need to be able to drag and drop from one window to the other and if there's a conflict in the file name I need a pop-up that asks me if I want to replace or overwrite or rename or whatnot it can't do that it also doesn't let you right click on something and open in a new window like on Windows or Linux I use that all the time to right click on a folder and open it in a new window you can't do that here and um, it also be great if you could do a network share like if I could share a folder using Samba on Chrome OS that would go a long way but those are still the things that I need before I can use this as a daily driver but you guys can let me know what you think is Chrome OS good enough for your daily needs uh, for your work and whatnot for me it's not maybe it is for you or what other features do you think it needs before uh, you can actually use this but that's all for now like I said there hasn't been a lot of excitement in my opinion going on with Chrome OS lately uh, I know for actual Chromebooks, there's the new Chromebook Plus thing, which I haven't tested out. But uh, I don't really care to buy an actual Chromebook. So this is what I got. Thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more. Bye now.